is Benji and I am a full-time plant content creator. That feels really weird to say, but I've been active on social media as Benji Plant for a little bit over a year now. I make content on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. I first got started on TikTok in November of 2020, and then I kind of just kept posting on TikTok and then posted more frequently on Instagram and then started this YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Benji. Welcome to my first YouTube video. The concept of a plant content creator is honestly kind of strange. Like whenever I tell people what I do, they're like, so what do you do? I'm gonna share with you guys some behind the scenes of kind of what I do on a day to day so you can see what it's like being a plant content creator. <laughs> Obviously it is a lot of plant care, but it's also a lot of photography, taking videos, editing, writing, like corresponding, communication. If you told me like two years ago that this would be my full-time job, I would have been extremely confused. If you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I recently graduated from college. I guess it's not so recent anymore, but I graduated in June of 2021 with an environmental studies degree, and I was honestly extremely confused and uncertain on what I wanted to do after I graduated. And I just started sharing my plans on social media and kept going with it and now I feel so blessed to have you guys support me and allow me to live my life filled with plants and make it into my job. I'm able to work on my own schedule, be surrounded by plants, be creative, share my plants and my passions with you all and discover new things and experiment and kind of like cultivate my imagination. I learned how to video edit I learned how to take photos in manual, which is a pretty big step for me. I'm extremely privileged to be in this position where I'm able to make this into my job. However, I am a pretty disorganized person. I don't plan, I don't schedule, I don't have a calendar. So I just have like a lot of thoughts in my head at all times. Being self-employed and being a content creator, that is not really great. Um, and it can kind of lead to feeling overwhelmed at times. Also, since this isn't a nine to five, I don't really have an imposed structure. So I kind of just do stuff 24 seven because you can kind of like always be doing something as a content creator. For 2022, my goal is to be more organized and have a schedule. My ideal situation would be that I have content ready one week in advance. I'm gonna create a notion and have my days a little bit more organized. And also something exciting is that Chris is going to be working with me now full time. He left his old 9 to 5 and now he's just helping me with stuff that he's already been helping me with. I kind of considered him like my unpaid intern because he would help with literally everything. with filming, getting things ready to film, and just a bunch of other stuff. But now he's getting paid for it, so that's pretty exciting. And what's great about this is that because he's working with me, it's pretty flexible and he has time to pursue his own passions and his own interests, which he didn't have during his nine to five. So yeah, we're gonna start getting the Notion set up for the first time and I feel really optimistic. Chris and I are going to create the Notion for Benji Plant and I'm excited to just feel more prepared in this new year. Chris and I are setting up a Notion for Benji Plant content stuff. We're using Dobo Chobo's template. She's a YouTuber if you don't know who she is. Hopefully we can do content planning so that way I'm more consistent with my content because right now it's sort of all over the place and it can get overwhelming because everything is just in my head. But hopefully with some planning and with some help, Benji Plant 2022 will be unstoppable. <laughs> I would like to take the time to thank the sponsor for this video, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp reached out to me back in November, so about two months ago, and I've been using their services since then, and I've genuinely benefited from them, so I'm more than happy to talk about them. In 2022, I'm aiming to be more organized, less stressed, and just feel more in control. And one of the best ways to follow through with healthy mental health habits is by working with a licensed therapist. I've always been someone that recommends therapy to everyone, but I've never actually done it myself. I've always felt like finding a therapist, setting up the appointment, and actually going to the appointment felt like the biggest hurdle ever. With better 
BetterHelp, you can access their network of over 20,000 licensed therapists. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it is professional therapy done securely online. When you sign up for BetterHelp, you take a quiz that assesses your needs and matches you up with your own professional licensed therapist. The quiz itself was actually pretty helpful for me because it forced me to be introspective and be honest about myself. If you've ever searched for a counselor in your area, you know that it takes weeks or even months to just get a phone call back. With BetterHelp, you can start communicating in as little as 48 hours. BetterHelp is available to clients worldwide and you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist and receive timely and thorough responses. With BetterHelp, you can schedule weekly phone calls or video chats from the comfort of your own home. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. They're providing a special offer for Benji Plant viewers. You can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Benji Plant. Visit betterhelp.com slash Benji Plant. That is better H-E-L-P and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with an experienced professional. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and shout out to my therapist Ellen. So just a little bit ago, I was taking pictures of some of my Monstera. For Instagram, I typically don't stage plants very often, but I wanted to do like a Monstera photo. So I brought all my Monstera out and I actually like how they look here. Hello, Chris. Chris is just hanging out. I'm not hanging out, I'm working. Oh, sorry. Right now I'm unboxing these grow lights that I'm setting up in my greenhouse cabinet. It's been a while since my video where I actually built the Ikea greenhouse cabinet. So I'm going to do an update video for you guys in about a month. I'm switching these lights out because they were too yellow for me and it would make everything look really dull in the cabinet. I haven't really made an announcement or anything because it kind of makes me sad, honestly. My mantis died, I think like two weeks ago now. They don't live for very long. They only live for a couple months once they're an adult and she was already an adult. She just kind of got slower and then passed away. Uh, and it kind of made me really sad. So I didn't really talk about it, but I buried her outside in my large tree. So she'll like stay with me as long as the tree's alive. <laughs> These are all the things that we had planned for today and we got most of them done. Yeah, I got a lot done today with Chris's help. Now that it's end of the day, I pretty much finished filming and taking photos. I'm going through my SD card and organizing things because something that I struggle with is kind of like recording, taking photos and not organizing it. The day I edit, I'll have to like sort through all the footage. And I think that sorting it like every night will just make things so much easier for me. So I created kind of like a nine to five structure for myself. After five, I am planning to not do anything work related and just take care of my plants and, you know, just not think about the logistics. I really do like doing content creation, but it does take creative energy, mental energy, and it's just nice to have a break sometimes, you know, like everyone needs a break because I definitely am working over 40 hours a week, which I don't think was very healthy for me and it would lead to a lot of burnout. Work is filming, editing, responding to emails. And that is the work. Like taking care of plants is not the work. It's just something I do. With Chris's help, I'm like planning things, when to film, when to write a script, when the video is going to be posted, when to edit, have video ideas for future weeks. It just feels a lot less over overwhelming and it's been really nice with therapy. My therapist is super sweet. She kind of gave me action plans to address that feeling. So far it just feels so much better like a support system with Chris and also my new therapist. Shout out to Ellen. I hope I can say your name. Chris and I were busy today setting up a Patreon. Um, so there are three tiers. There's mushroom, moss, and then mushroom and then this is based off this one photo that I took. The 
artwork was commissioned by my friend Megan. It's super cute. So the first tier gives access to a Discord where we can talk about plants or, you know, honestly, whatever, just random stuff. There's access to the Patreon feed where I'll just post some behind the scenes stuff. And then the second tier will give access to all those things as well as a monthly podcast that I'll put out where I'll just talk about, like, kind of anything. I guess it'll be sort of more community based. So I'll let you guys decide. And then this one I'm really excited about. I'm going to print out my favorite photo that I took that month on a five by seven print and write a handwritten note on the back, kind of like a postcard where I'll just talk about like what I'm up to and each of them will be unique. And then I'll send them out at the end of the month. So you get a print and a cute little note on it as well. Since Chris is working with me now and he's not at his other job, it would be nice to have another source of income just to support us financially i suppose so yeah no pressure if you're not able to sign up or anything you guys just watching the video is honestly enough but yeah if you do want to sign up i'll link the patreon in the description it should be live by the time i post this video also look at chris's workstation it's so cute now chris and i are looking over what we did for today in notion and then we're gonna see what we have prepared for tomorrow we've almost completed all of the tasks for today, which is Thursday. Tomorrow, I'm going to reach out about approval for an Instagram post for a sponsorship. Chris and I are going to go to the shopping center called The Grove. Um, we're going to have breakfast there and then we need to get groceries. And Chris wants to get a dinosaur book. Paleontology book. He's in his dinosaur era right now. <laughs> <laughs> It's really interesting to see what my day is going to be like tomorrow. Before I would just wake up and be like, hmm, what am I going to do today? It makes me kind of excited for tomorrow because tomorrow looks pretty fun. Hmm. This feels very nice. Still a heavily used water source and I hope that your captain decides to come back to you. He won't do that. He knows better. And fall of that. <laughs> Do you think that's actually Tom, Tom Holland? Holland I read bet the Tyrannosaurus. I bet it is. <laughs> got the new fit. No, no, he's going too fast. I got this book. Just so I learned some principles of design. I feel like I know when things look good, but I don't know why things look good, which I think is pretty important for me to be able to explain things to you guys. So yeah, I'm excited to read this. Hopefully I can learn some things and then pass it on to you guys. Investing in my self and my knowledge. in this terrarium. I wanted to do something different with this. There are some isopods in here. I need to move them out and isopods are roly polies. Not all of them roll, but they all they roll. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right now there's two in here. Can you see it? I'm gonna take them out and put them in my larger terrarium. I'm trying to save you. Stop running away. Can you see it? Be free. <laughs> And then there's one more, but it's really tiny. Oh, got it. Can you see him? Mm -hmm. It's 
cute. <laughs> Let's put him in the pitcher plant. No. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. Be free. Be free. Wait. <laughs> Be free. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's down there. Can you see it? Yeah. Well, he's okay. <laughs> I just got this new fertilizer. It's an organic microbial fertilizer. I believe it's just like cow manure, but they processed it in a certain way that makes it suitable for houseplants. I'm interested to try this and see how it works out. I'm going to be like spreading this out around my plants. We are back home and I just want to say that I've been feeling pretty good lately. I also wanted to say that we reached a hundred thousand subscribers. <laughs> I remember like nine months ago, I was freaking out with Chris over the fact that I had 3000 subscribers. I almost have like 3000 subscribers, which is crazy. You guys are genuinely so sweet to me, um, like in the comments and stuff and just supporting me in general. I feel like I've made a lot of progress with my content, my videos, my editing, my photography, and I also feel like I made a lot of progress just mentally, like with my confidence and stuff too. If you watch my older videos, you can tell I'm really uncomfortable in front of the camera. I'm still kind of getting used to it, but it is definitely better than it was before. Lately, I've just been feeling really content, um, and honestly, being content is sort of all I could ask for in life. To feel appreciated, to be surrounded by plants, to have loved ones. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching. I love you guys and goodbye. Oh my god, there's a hummingbird. I've had some flowers bloom recently, so I've been seeing a lot more bees and birds and hummingbirds. So, oh, okay. Uh, bye.